Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you my Nintendo collection. Um, I've been putting it off for a while, but I found, finally found all my Nintendo games that I do have. First I have Zelda's Revenge, Star Tropics 2. This is one of the last Nintendo games we made. And, um, you know, Star Tropics is an action RPG kind of a game. Kind of like Zelda in a way. Um, it, it has its own style, though, and it's quite fun, so I recommend it. Next is Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse. The best one on Nintendo, in my opinion. Um, you know, lots of fun. Recommend this one first, and then Castlevania, and then Simon's Quest. Next is Dizzy. Fantastic Adventures of Dizzy. This one was Gold Cart um, Comerica games. You know, they're, they're kind of hard to find. Not, not terribly, though. You know, anything that's in a cart that's different than the gray carts or you know, kind of hard to find, but these ones have a special gift switch on them that says if they don't work in one position, turn in the other. So, I don't know, that's kind of weird. Dizzy was kind of a game mascot for America, I guess you could say. That also appeared on the Aladdin Deck Enhancer, which is a, um, a weird, weird shaped game that you could play on your Nintendo, which is quite rare and expensive now. And, uh, but these gold cart versions are kind of the same thing, except they're less less rare and less expensive. Anyway, it's a platformer, and you know they're in the gold cart. Uh, Super Mario 2, very fun platformer. Not the true Super Mario 2, but still lots of fun. Miss Pac-Man, uh, engine black cart version, one of my favorite arcade games. Lots of fun. Eggman 6. Um, pretty fun, Mega Man, not my favorite out of the classic series at all, probably my least favorite on the, on the Nintendo, still lots of fun, great on Bungling Bay, haven't played it yet, just picked it up, Legacy of the Wizard, this is one of those games that you had to figure out by yourself, you know, like five characters, or six characters, can't remember, and each one's got special abilities, you basically go through the whole, the whole world is basically a labyrinth, where you have to figure out what to do, how to get wherever, kill enemies, stuff like that. Um, nowadays, there's walkthroughs and stuff that tell you everything, but back then, they didn't have that kind of stuff. This game is quite fun, though. Dragon Warrior. Very, very primitive RPG. Um, you, have, you have to, like, choose the function to, like, go down the stairs and stuff like that. It's not the greatest in my opinion because that's a little too primitive for me but still pretty good game another gold cart uh, version of nintendo game firehawk uh haven't played it yet but it's like a playing game or shoot em up or something castlevania 2 Simon's quest not my favorite um castlevania because it's more rpg based um you know, it's kind of slow moving, too. Uh, another Mario. Kari Warriors 2. Um, not a good port of the arcade version. I'm not sure if there was no Kari Warriors 2 on the arcade, but there was Kari Warriors 1. Um, this one flickers too much and moves a little too slow for me. Another gold cart. Quattro Adventure 4 has four games on it. Uh, Treasure Island, Dizzy, Boomerang Kid, Super Robin Hood, and Linus Spacehead. You know, pretty, pretty me mediocre games all in one cartridge, but not too bad. Mystery Quest, this is one of those games that rented out of, like, the grocery store that had, like, a rental uh, video and game place. Um, I just decided to pick it up again. You kind of just move throughout the level, getting keys, and beating enemies and stuff. Rygar, a very fun game that they remade on the PS2, and I think they're making one for the Wii. You use your shield to swing at enemies, and basically just kind of like an adventure platformer kind of a action game. Um, lots of fun. Highly recommend it if you can find it. Original Final Fantasy, very hard. Very fun. Uh, Pyramid. This game's kind of rare. Uh, all the American video entertainment games are somewhat hard to find. 
Um, this is a puzzle game. Another Mario. Dr. Mario. Fun puzzle game. Fun multiplayer. Pick it up. 1942, very fun shoot 'em up game. Ninja Gaiden 2. You know, throwing shurikens, jumping on walls. Lots of fun. Same thing with Ninja Gaiden 1. Lots of fun. Next is Dragon Spirit. Vertical shoot 'em up game where you're a dragon. You kill enemies, get different abilities, different fireballs, um, stuff like that. Um, you do have a life bar, so it is kind of simple, but it's very fun nonetheless. Archon. A chess type of game where when you claim one of your opponent's pieces, you can then battle it out on the, in an arena. So then, you know, you might not lose your piece if you're getting attacked. So, in that sense, a lot of fun. Highly recommend this game if you can find it. By Commando, got a remake. Um, recently, this this version is quite fun. You know, platformer. You use your arm to swing on the leg, uh, ledges above you and stuff like that. A lot of fun. Conquest of Crystal Palace. I haven't played much of this, but it's sort of like an RPG. Uh, you know, side scrolling one. Also, it's kind of weird. Um, you know, I'll tell you guys later more of what I think about it. Uh, Exodus Ultima, kind of like the PZ version. Haven't really played too much of it. <coughs> Trojan, haven't played it. Journey Sillies. Mega Man Clown, um, lots and lots of fun. I highly, highly recommend this game. This game was one of my, this is one of my favorite Nintendo games. The music is amazing. Go check out Journey Sillies music on YouTube or whatever. The music is awesome. Some of the best in Nintendo in my, in my opinion. Um, this game was based on Terminator, but they changed it for some reason. It plays like Mega Man, you know. Mega Man, no more can you say. That's your island. Very fun platformer series. You know, your caveman, throw hammers, skateboard. Contra, you know, classic side scrolling. Very, very hard. Still fun nonetheless. Mighty Final Fight. Uh, I highly recommend this game if you can find it. Beat 'em up at its best on the Nintendo. Graphics are great. Lots of combos. Very fun. Time Lord. Haven't played it yet. This game's about to fall. Gauntlet. That's not good when your games make that noise. You know, classic gauntlet, not like the arcade version exactly, but still very fun. F-15 Strike Eagle, playing game, haven't really played it. Top Gun, um, you've seen the AVG episode about that game. Joust, um, arcade version is very fun, this version is pretty good. Lots and lots of fun. Um, let's see. Two Marios. Classic Mario. Very fun. Platformer. Duck Hunt. Also very fun. Chrysalis. A Zelda clone that is very, very good. Almost surpasses Zelda. Highly recommend this if you can find it. Um, as it's an art action RPG. Over the head view. You can go in dungeons. Go in caves. Open world, lots of fun. Pick it up. Legend of Zelda, my favorite Zelda game. Open world, do whatever you want, go whatever dungeon you want first. You know, uh, lots of fun. You know, what else can I say? Zelda. This game is awesome. One of the very first games I've ever played. This is what basically got me into gaming. Love this game. Um, Gremlins 2, I haven't played too much of it, but I hear it, it is actually very, very good. Iron Sword, Wizards and Warriors, Terrible Cover Art, Super Mario 2. You know, not the true Super Mario 2, but still a very, very good platformer. Duck, duck, panic. Star Tropics, action RPG, kind of like Zelda in a sense, but 
you know, it has a style all its own. Very fun. Pick it up if you can find it. And I believe last but not least is Adventure Island 2. More of the same like Adventure Island 1. And uh, you know, your caveman platformer game. Pick it up. Um, so I have you guys. Hope you enjoyed the background scenery. I have my games all displayed finally in out of those containers. And, uh, oh, and uh, one more thing. Uh, thank you guys for pushing me to 250 subscribers. I really appreciate it. All the comments, um, positive feedback is very much appreciated. And, uh, gonna put up more videos for you guys. So, catch you guys later.